the interview with Energy Box um, event. Um, as the first uh, first time buyer, uh, I, I'm wondering two questions. The first one would be the product quality. So uh, if I am the first time buyer, uh, what kind of traps or pitfalls or the difficulties can be avoided for the person who is the first, first time buyer? The second question is, um, please convince me why should I select some man's product as your product price is a kind of uh, a really lack of the tempting because it is a little, a little bit higher. Yeah, so thank you for the interview. Um, you know, there's two ways to answer this question. So first of all, I'm going to assume you are a buying for on-grid applications. You can't install glass panels. You have a roof, you can't install glass panels and you come to me. So, you know, a lot of people, there's been a lot of lightweight and flexible solar modules in the market. Um, people usually associate these with, you know, cheaper and, you know, cheaper quality products. But, you know, for us, uh, we're not doing anything different compared to conventional glass modules. So first of all, we obviously use a patented composite material to replace the glass. That's why we are lightweight and semi-flexible. But most importantly, you know, our electricity generating unit are the same as conventional glass modules. We're still using crystal, crystalline silicon solar cells. So in a way, we're standing on the shoulders of our predecessors, the glass module manufacturers, which is a very reliable technology. And we're simply just replacing the glass with a patented composite material. So in terms of electricity generation, all these electrical properties, it's the same as glass modules, just without the glass. When people like to talk to me about price, I just put it this way, you know? You know, if you're an EPC company, you can't install glass panels. You come to me, you want to use my product. You know, my product doesn't need any racking or mounting. My installation is faster. I save labor costs. I save mounting equipment. I save hardware. So, you know, when it comes, comes down to it, you know, my panel might be a little expensive, but our EPC cost is the same. So we got to think about solar in terms of system costs instead of comparing panels to panels. Because when you're comparing a lightweight solar module like eARC, our product, to a glass module, it's apple and oranges. It's not, it's not a fair comparison. Thank you, Danny. Um, and my next question is, if I want to buy the Summers products, I will definitely, 100% sure, I want to guarantee that. Uh, am I able to obtain the replacements under the warranty? So please introduce a little bit more about your sale after services. You know, in terms of after sale services, you know, customer service, we go from technical support to like any kind of, so for example, you know, we provide after support when you want to install our panels, you know, we provide, you know, technical guidance, technical support that comes in the form of installation manual or, you know, within within certain regions, we can send, we can send an engineer to help you on site. You know, for example, in an unlikely event that, you know, you m need to make a warranty claim, you know, we are a very global company, you know, we have teams and we have teams that cover all regions in the world and we'll be able to take your request and, and uh, reflect it to, 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 the manufacturer, to, our, to our own manufacturing facility and get you that, get you that warranty claim. Uh, my next question is, uh, I have three keywords here. The first would be accreditation, the second would be a certification and the third one is the standards. So please introduce a little bit more about those three features of Summer's products, please. Yeah, so um, Summer's uh, Summon's EARC module is the first glass-free lightweight solar module in the world to pass the same certification test as glass modules. So we've passed IEC certification multiple times. We've also gotten you know, CEC, JET, and UL certification. So in the past, we, we were founded six years ago, and we've de dedicated a lot of time to internal testing, very extreme tests. So for example, you know, um, Right, I'd like to introduce the um, machine behind me. So, you know, a lot of people, they ask us, you know, when I buy a solar, mo buy a lightweight solar module, will I have micro cracks if I shake the module? So we designed this extreme testing machine to tell the market, you know, we could, we've, this thing has been shaking for three days and we have an EL test and there's no micro cracks. These are all the kind of extreme tests, that extreme lengths we go to to tell the market that we are the leader in this lightweight solar module uh, field, you know. Our, our business is based on quality and trust, so we will never push out an immature product. Thank you, Dennis, it's really clear. Um, the, my last question is, is there any other extra highlights in this show at this time? Yeah, so I'd like to talk a bit about our 1200 watt super-sized uh, solar module. Uh, I like to call him Behemoth, because he's very big. You know, conventional glass modules, 
We have the 600 watt to 700 watt club right now. Uh, modules are getting bigger and bigger, but for modules to grow in physical size, they're limited by the size of glass. So, you know, some man replaces glass with patented uh, composite materials. This composite material can be customized in shape and size to a certain degree. So instead of trying to say we made the biggest module, you know, I like to tell the market that we're not constrained or limited by, you know, supply chain and standards of conventional materials such as glass. So this is another way for us to highlight our material innovation. We can make modules very big. Okay, thank you, Daniel. Thanks for taking your time. Yeah, thank you.